Now there comes a time when you are just basically tired of getting ads on your phone for simple music streaming services and you just want an ad free experience, no ads at all. So for that purpose, let me introduce you to a new application which is known as Black Hole. Now this one is a new open source application which can let you stream music from different sources and this is basically interface wise an exact replica of Spotify but without ads. You'll get almost every song from Spotify in every language that you can think of and it even suggests you the top Spotify charts so that you can directly just forget about Spotify altogether and it even gets you to YouTube section where you can search for music on YouTube and you can get that directly on this device without any ads. The interface is quite smooth. You can change the volume by just dragging up and down in this uh, section for music playing and the interface is pretty much intuitive and you will easily get used to it. And one of the main advantages like you can download music for free on this application and use it for offline playback you won't need internet connection after downloading it to your personal device you can even share it and there's an option to download high quality music in this one which is i think that's a great choice especially in spotify or any other music stream services you have to pay a quite considerable amount of money but in this one it's given absolutely for free you even get this playlist options uh, my music it will even detect music on your device that are not downloaded by this application which will help you to easily find out music, easily play, play them without pretty much any delay. Now most of you will be having the question like okay so uh, is it safe? I'll, I'll show you the permissions that are given to the, this application and here you can see that the I basically haven't given any permission. It's like uh, you only have the option to give the files and media option, which uh, it is quite, which is uh, not that good. And yeah, I have not enabled it. And that's the only permission that the application would ever need. So I've disabled it. And from where you can get it is via GitHub. I'll be posting a link to the GitHub page from where you can download this application for free.